Hi y'all and welcome. Today we're going to be doing an update to the Shaker Fireplace Surround. There's been a lot of questions about this fireplace and I appreciate that and continue to send those questions my way. This video is going to give you a little bit more detail on how to build the Shaker Fireplace Surround only. Also, if you're interested, you can uh, purchase the kit for this. I'll provide the link uh, in the description below and if you have any questions, Feel free to comment and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. The first thing that I have to do is create the rabbits. This is what holds the MDF board in place and gives you that shaker style look. There's a lot of repeatable steps to building this fireplace. Sometimes I find that really enjoyable. Other times I get kind of bored. <laughs> but anyway, that's just how woodworking goes. It is nice, however, to see when your pieces start coming together and you start gluing things up. That's when it really becomes real. My fireplace is probably my favorite thing that I've ever built. Second would probably be the pantry, because that's where all the food is. If you really want to build this fireplace, but you don't have all the tools or the time to cut everything down, I have a kit for you. I'll put the link in the description and also here in the video. Now, if you do have all the tools, I have a blueprint for you that gives you all the dimensions and everything you need to make this shaker fireplace. I'll put that as a link in the description as well. Okay, so we finished the top part. Here it is. This is how it's gonna sit on your fireplace and you're gonna have another column go over here and then your mantle's gonna sit on top. I only put one, uh, I guess, skirt or bottom on it because you don't need one on the top because that's where your mantle sits and you need access to inside for the installation. All right, so now you know how to build the top, let's go build the sides. The process to build the sides isn't that much different from building the top. You have to cut the skirts, you have to cut some more rabbits, and you gotta put all that together. And there's more sandy. I live up in Illinois and it gets really cold here. The day that I filmed this, it's actually 55 degrees. It felt so warm because we've had like a brutal winter. We hit like an all time record low of minus 17 degrees was the high. That's not including the wind chill and it was cold. So this day that I'm putting everything together, it was a warm day of 55 degrees. The last part of this build are the supports, or the way to hold the shaker boxes to the wall. You can see here the brackets or the blocks used to attach all the boxes to the wall. And here's one for the bottom. All right, we finished. We have the sides that were built. You saw how I did that. I've also uh, included the spacers for the top. You can rewind and see how they go in. They go in at the top. Those are half inch. And then you also have the baseboards that go right here. I've provided that as well. And then the block spacers. And then this is something new that I added. Uh, it goes on the edge to kind of help hold that top piece in. And uh, I thought it was a really easy way to do that. It's not in the original plans, but in this one, it's a little bonus for you. You can buy all this in a kit if you don't want to make it yourself. The link is right here or right here. I don't know where it usually pops up, but uh, you can go get that and um, install it. It ships flat. None of it's assembled. It's all just pre-cut. You have to do the gluing. I provide the screws, however, and I did that just in case your dimensions are a little different. You can just chop off a little bit at the bottom or cut down the little uh, MDF boards to make it a little narrower just to fit your space. Again, 
I hope you like this update to the Shaker Fireplace. If you did, give me some thumbs up. Hit that little bell if you want to get notified of any new videos that I post. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'll see you later.